So I think, um, but also too, because I've got the right network around me and the right things in place, it does not enable me to do that. Whereas if, if I, I guess I've got a lot of things that aren't quite going right and I've got to fix up, then it makes it much more challenging. So it's one that me and my physio speak about a fair bit and we joke about and um, and I remember saying to her the other day, he was like, how are you going? And I was like, this isn't for ACLs, I'm fine. Yeah. So um, so I think there's that perspective as well, I guess, that you can put it back in. And there's still no doubt the frustration there. Like I, I was having a really good season the first five weeks of the year and I had a lot of goals that now I won't achieve. But at the same time, I tell myself big picture and look at the big picture and, and that is that if I can get back in the second half of this season, then where will chance to be up there again and, and hopefully win a premiership? Yeah. Well, a couple of things I think are really important to take away from this conversation before we finish is that the frustration, you know, the feeling sad and getting depressed sometimes, it's okay. Absolutely. Like that's the bit that people try to... They fight with it. Put the barrier up yep. and ignore it or bottle it up, especially mm-hmm. men yep. that will bottle it up, not show their emotion or have anyone to share it with yep. and it then overwhelms them to a Absolutely. an outburst or, or yep. things that are much, much worse, mm-hmm. which, you know, for me is a, you know, a dad with five kids and with, with boys that encourage them at a very young age to continue to speak openly and honestly yes. of how they feel and that's completely okay. Yeah. So that was like the key for me. You the second one is that there's, you know, if you're a young kid and you wanted to play footy or you're someone in work... I, it's hard work. Yeah. Like the idea to think that it's not going to be hard work or you can sort of hack your way through it. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's not right. It's, no, not, exactly. it's not true. Yeah. Um, so I think though for me, what was really important. And then the last one is no matter what happens is that we have to continue to grow and, and have a strong support network around us of, you know, obviously you with your family, but also the friends, but working on that, continuing to work and grow those support re- networks and relationships Mm -hmm. become really imperative not just to getting through a tough time but to performance absolutely so anything before where can we the website what's is it mtmf it is mtmf.com.au yep um and so again it's not just targeted at people who do acls um there is a lot of recovery information on there for literally i believe that any setback anyone goes through a lot of the principles are similar in overcoming that setback and, and um, obviously there's ones where it's much worse than just a little injury but a lot of the principles are the same and it's how you actually do overcome that and so that's on there um, as well as my documentary um, which is just yeah again it, a lot of people I think I got good feedback about that because a lot of people can relate and so it doesn't have to be an ACL but it can be anything that they go through and they go you know what I've been there I've been exactly in that position and I've struggled and so I understand what that feels like well for me it means it was real like it's it's, it's a real documentary of, of what happens every day to people yep. to get injured yeah but I, I think there's even a part of that even you know whether you're a leader or even if you're not injured at the AFL people you know, the fans don't always see the, the hard work yes. that goes into that. Like yep. it's not all glamour and it's yes. not everyone yep. just kicking the footy all day, but there's a lot of Absolutely. shit you have to do to get yeah. to, to that spot. So that's that becomes really important. And I love the I love the active where, you know, even if you're not injured, but that ability, you know, affirmations and just to continue to keep you true to your path and on your purpose, it's just the reminder around being you know, toughness and fortitude. They're just great reminders you know, to where to continue on, on your path to be more authentic. Yeah, absolutely. And it's um, a lot of people who either watch my documentary or sign up for the plan and go, yeah, I just bought a jumper because it just reminds me of that I can overcome this. Yeah. I'm like, it's really cool that that can be the message that um, we can send to people. And um, it is as simple as that, but it, it is. It's it's telling yourself why you actually want something and how you're going to get there. So... Um, we'll keep developing that and we are developing a new range at the moment which is um, which is actually really exciting to be able to do that and, and pick different things and I guess for me I, it's something that I never thought I would do so um, something that yeah I do every single day I'm like this is pretty cool and I, I've got a lot of teammates at the club that I give some free stuff to and they market it well for me you and, got the networks mate <laughs> um, it's great you see the boys wearing it and I'm like I walk past I'm like yeah I'm like, thanks for repping and they're like no nah, no worries it's free so why not but yeah. it's um, it is, it's really cool so it's something that um, yeah it's amazing how out of such a negative situation it has turned pretty positive for me yeah you've definitely sound as if the, the negativity we, we grow from that and it sounds like you have mate thanks for having me on the podcast 
enjoyed it. No worries at all. Thanks, Leggy. Okay, so that was cool. Like as I said to him, he's he's super authentic. He loves what he does. Um, you know, obviously when you grow up with five other brothers, you get grounded real quick. And he is. I remember when I first met him, when I was coaching a football club and he was coaching the, the under twelves, I was coaching the under fourteens and I was coaching the under sixteens and you know, I had some interactions with him there and I couldn't believe, you know, how nice he was how much time he had for all the kids and all the parents that wanted to, you know, talk to him and they wanted to talk about the knee and he was just, he had time and space for everyone and you have that when you've got five brothers. You need that. You need that grounding, that humility. So that was awesome. I love his journey and I wish him well. I hope you got some great things out of it and, you know, stay tuned. Next week's a really cool one, so we'll talk to you then. Mm-hmm.